Welcome to another virtual Willard Public Library Crafter Noon. On this episode, we'll be making a quilt pumpkin craft in preparation for fall. As always, craft kits for this project are available at the Adult Services Desk at Willard Library while supplies last. Each kit includes one printed pumpkin template, one folded piece of white cardstock, approximately 22 quilling paper strips in shades of orange, green, and brown, each one measuring about 21 inches, and one standard quilling tool. You will also need a pair of scissors, liquid glue, and some scrap paper. You can use the back side of your supply list if you'd like. Start by making a circle out of a piece of orange quilling paper. Use the outside of your pumpkin template as a general guide for size. Put a tiny dot of glue at the end of the strip and then cut off the excess paper. Now repeat this process for the circle in the middle of the pumpkin as well, so you end up with two circles, one slightly larger than the other. Next you'll need your scrap paper. I'm cutting off a strip from my template since we no longer need it. Pour some liquid glue onto your scrap paper, then use that folded piece as a sort of scraper to level out the layer of glue. Next, take the larger of the two rings and lay it into the glue like this. Pull the sides of the circle outward to make it into an oval shape, then gently stick it onto the cardstock. Now repeat the same process with the smaller circle. You'll want to work fairly quickly for this part, adjusting the shapes as you go. You'll notice that I'm making a small dip in the top part of my pumpkin where the stem is going to go. Now I'm going to show you how to make a few very basic quilling shapes. First you'll want to thread the end of your quilling paper onto your quilling tool. Then spin the quilling tool in one hand while holding onto the quilling paper in the other. You want to try to avoid getting a tornado shape with your quilling paper. Once the paper is on the tool, Take a small dot of glue and secure the end in place. Carefully pull the shape off of the end of the tool and you should have a tight coil that looks something like this. For the next shape, repeat the same quilling process but stop before gluing down the tail end of the quilling paper. Instead, remove the shape from the quilling tool, then loosen carefully in your fingers. You should end up with a round spiral shape. Next, I'm going to make an S-shaped scroll. Roll about half of a piece of quilling paper, then remove from the tool. Then roll the other half of the quilling paper in the opposite direction. Ooh. 
Another option is a teardrop shape. First remove the unglued coil from your quilling tool. Loosen the shape with your fingers into a spiral. Then pinch one end to make a point. You could also use the same process except pinch both ends to create what is called a marquise shape. When you're ready, glue the end to secure the shape in place. Now that I've created a variety of quilled shapes, I'm ready to set them into my pumpkin outline. Once again, pour a layer of glue onto your scrap paper and then dip each shape into the glue and onto the cardstock. There's no right or wrong way to place your shapes, so just have fun with it. I'm going to add a few heart-shaped leaves as a finishing touch. Take a piece of green quilling paper that's about three inches in length, fold it in half, then push the fold towards the center. Glue the ends and the fold together and you should have a small heart-shaped leaf. 